If Anthony Fauci is correct, the impact of the Omicron variant may be more trauma-based than an actual health crisis. And after two years of a global pandemic, lockdowns and travel restrictions, it is no wonder that the emergence of a heavy mutated variant caused markets to panic. One suspicion was that if the new strain is lethal and resistant to vaccines, the Fed would postpone its tapering and raising interest rates. However, initial testing is suggesting that while the new strain is more transmissible, the effects are mild. And this was reflected in financial markets, with travel stocks closing on Monday heavily in the green, while pharma stocks booked heavy declines. And it looks as if a major shift is underway at the Federal Reserve to start withdrawing the central bank's pandemic easing policies and hike rates sooner than is priced in by markets. Fed watchers have picked up on comments by Fed officials that suggested that the central bank is likely to double the pace of its taper to $30 billion a month in December. And discussions could start soon on a timeline for raising rates next year, alongside a fresh round of economic forecasts and projections for the Fed funds rate. As yet, there is no consensus on when to start to adjust policy, but it appears that the faster taper is designed to give the Fed flexibility to raise rates as soon as the spring. Markets do not appear to expect the first rate hike until the summer.